was it we were going to build the world's fastest K truck with 550 horsepower, but still abide by the third rule, which is don't die. I'm gonna be honest, it's not easy. This truck was designed for 38 horsepower. It's made of really, really thin metal, and we've got 550 all-wheel drive horsepower sitting over there. So this is going to get a rally cage, a full ARA spec rally cage, but how do you build one of those? Step one is to scan the entire truck so you make a 3D model of it so you can build all of the cage and the safety structure in the computer before you build it in real life. Matt is currently sticking on these little stickers. Hey there, Matt. How's it going? Putting these little stickers on there so that the laser can see exactly where the scan going. We've put hundreds and hundreds of stickers all over the truck so that the scanner can know exactly where it's at and not get lost. This stuff here though is our secret weapon. And our secret weapon in this entire thing, foot spray, a whole lot of it. Use foot spray because the ideal cheapest non-reflective coating you can put on the truck just wipes off. And so the scanner can get a much more thorough scan of it without the reflectivity issue. If it shines back at the scanner, it won't get the scan. So the plan is we put the motors into the K truck, we put the cage in the K truck, but then how do we package this entire battery here? This is the battery pack, 1,200 pounds of it. The battery pack, it's a full aluminum safety cell lined by ABS. So these contacts here, these are the high voltage contacts. These are 24 volts across these times 16 cells. To demystify it a little bit though, these are the contacts I'm touching it right now. I mean, that's 21 volts across all these. It makes 400 and so volts, but you know, you can touch them. You don't want to touch across them, but touching them is not going to hurt you. Even sparking a little bit, it's not that bad. This is DC, 21 volts, not a problem. 400 volts certainly hurts, but it's AC you need to be afraid of. AC is the thing that causes big problems, especially three phase. I also seem to have created a lot of confusion with this project. And I want to clear up one big misconception. This is not the product we're going to be making here at the car factory. This is just a one of one. This is a halo product to show what we're about, build a thing that we can get the community together, actually designing stuff before we move on to the open source truck, the affordable truck, the whole mission, you know? Final question, how do I fabricate the cage for this thing? Well, thankfully that's what that pallet's for. I emailed the fine folks at Rogue Fabrication and they sent me their all American made notcher and bender. So we can actually have an easy time making a cage instead of struggling with it. I used to use a hand bender and that took absolutely forever and then notching with a super cheap notcher just took up all of the extra time that we could have been you know racing so now i'll actually have a fun time building a cage which seems very weird but i'm looking forward to the opportunity thanks rogue for sending this stuff over this is awesome